Hi and welcome to Design by Teachers. My name's Jess and welcome to our very first workshop of teaching you how to use PowerPoint to create your own classroom resources. Today we're going to be looking at a PowerPoint um, resource that Rebecca B designed on our website has uploaded. She has uploaded a resource that's got editable templates in the PowerPoint program. So we're going to have a little play with those templates and show you how you can use her editable menus inside your classroom to help manage your uh, rotation groups for literacy and numeracy. So once you've gone to the website and you've purchased her product, what will happen is you will download it uh, using Google Chrome. It will show up down on the bottom of your screen. We're on a Mac today um, and also on Google Chrome. So once you've downloaded your purse, we need you to drag and drop it over to the screen and you'll need to right click and unzip that file. So if you're on a Mac, we we'll use the archive utility. If you're on a PC, you have the option over here to unzip the file. So once you've done that, Let's go ahead and open up the file that's inside. So inside the file here, you'll see that she has lots of different PowerPoints here. So in each PowerPoint, she's actually got different layouts and templates available. Each of them have got 10 different colors plus a black and white, and also got some hints and tips and instructions in there for as well. This folder here also has some free clip art, so we'll be able to use that and decorate uh, each worksheet will show you how to do that. She's also got some little examples here of her kits. Um, what's also important is um, her terms and conditions, so please make sure you read those. Uh, this workshop is purely to show you how to use this resource inside your classroom. Uh, it is not to show you how to sell your resources. So let's go ahead with that all being done and have a little look inside. So what you need to do is go back and click on the PowerPoint that you would like to use. Uh, we're going for the 4 by 2 layout uh, on landscape, which we've already opened up over here. So here's her front cover, and the second page has got some instructions here for you to follow. This is one of the layouts that is also included, and you'll be able to find it over here. So what we're going to do is, this is the black and white version, um, and all the other ones that she's done here are coloured. We've already had a little bit of a play on them, but all of them will look like this when you get them. So you'll be able to have all the different editing options here with the colours in the background. She also has her terms and conditions again at the end. So going back up to the top, with the black and white, they put this option in. Some people don't like to have the colours with the waste of ink or the cost of ink with printing. The other option with the black and white is to use it uh, and put coloured paper in the, in the printer uh, and that will help save on your printing costs. Um, if you want to duplicate and do these more, you simply right click and just keep duplicating the slide if you want more and more black and white. Um, you can also drag and drop these onto a brand new PowerPoint presentation and simply save it as the black and white file if you'd like. So having a little look, we've actually had a little bit of a, a muck around with these and set them up a few different ways. So to edit any part of this, all you do is click on the item that you want to edit. Um, we've set it up here for Literacy Stations Term 2. You can set these up for different terms, so Term 1, 2, 3, 4, or your different semesters. We've added a little bit of clip art here just to make it cute and decorative. Completely up to you and depends on your age group or your theme. Um, so if you've got maths, you can add different mathematical uh, little clip arts in here, um, depending on what you've purchased. To edit any of these text boxes, you can simply click on them and start writing. Um, one way to set this up is we have all the stations here listed out with some simple instructions. Um, you can then print this out onto, it's set up for A4, but you can print it up onto A3 if you'd like. Uh, using your um, printer or photocopying settings. Uh, the other way you can do is you can set up day by day for your literacy rotations or your numeracy rotations and have the different activities listed here and you can put which group is on Wednesday. So you might have reds here, blue there, pink, yellow, completely up to you. The other thing you can do is you can leave it like this and actually laminate it and using a, a whiteboard marker you can write it here and then simply rub it out as you want to rotate it. So there's lots of different options. The other thing you can do is actually label the red group and have the days of the week here and specify the activities that they'll be doing and any little hints and tips that you'd like. You can put the team members here that are in the groups from the students. You can also put down here your policies or processes that you have here um, for your teachers for your students, sorry, that need assistance, whether it's hands up, um, all the different indicators or signals that you employ as um, strategies inside your classroom. And have a fast finisher option. Here's a really good classroom management tip um, for those students that once they've finished their 
task, they've got something or they know exactly what they need to do so that doesn't interrupt you if you've actually got a group and that you're working with down on the carpet or somewhere in your classroom. So let's go ahead and have a little look. Um, this one we've actually started to edit here by clicking on here. We've added stations in already just to save a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and edit the title. So you can click. If you double click it will highlight the whole thing. Um, or you can just simply hold down the mouse and drag and drop. Let's call it Literacy Groups Turn 3. Um, I actually would like to put some clip art in the top here. So I'm actually going to highlight that and shrink it just a little bit. Um, let's pop it back down to that one. It might even go a little bit smaller. Excellent. Okay, and that looks fairly balanced. If it doesn't, you can drag and drop it into the right position if need be. Actually, no, I like that down a little bit more. Excellent. Okay, so with our stations, if you want to increase your text box, you simply press return or enter and that will move down. And you can insert text here. You can insert instructions or information that you want. And you can go ahead and do that in each of the areas. If you need to drag and drop these stations, you can simply drag and drop the text like this and move it around. Okay. Which is really, really easy to do. Okay. And put your different instructions and add it as you go. Let's look, look at adding some little clip art here to brighten it up. So let's go ahead and open our folder. Notice how I have the two screens open right in front of me. That's important when we're going to be adding items. So we select the item you want, drag it across by holding a mouse down and release that. Click over here on the separate menu. Now we're definitely going to need to shrink that down because he's way too big. So this is called a page topper. Um, there's a lot of page toppers available on the website and these are great for themes. Um, so for things like Halloween or winter, Christmas and those sort of things. They're great and cute little ideas. Oops, I've accidentally moved that. So let's put him back over there. Excellent. The other item I've just seen is his number three. I'm actually going to use that instead of my term three so I'm going to get rid of the term three I'm going to go over here and I'm going to drag and drop this mr. number three he looks really cute so to shrink that click on the corner and simply hold the mouse down and put it down to a size that you'd like then put him into position if it's still not too too small or too big you can reposition it I actually like him sort of standing on the line and I'm, I'm quite happy with that Okay, I'm not too happy with the cat so click on the cat and delete um, what I might do is put my pencil in. I'm going to drag and drop my pencil. Okay, just to show you. It's not that I didn't like the cat, I'm just trying to show you all these ones. So pop the pencil there. That looks good if you want to shrink it. The other really good option is if you have a station for writing and you can use these clip arts as visual prompts um, and that will help those students that need the visual prompts in your in your classroom. Um, Let's increase him and put him back up there. They're quite happy with that. So again, if you're happy with that um, and if you wanted to set this up for all the different groups, you can right click and then you can actually duplicate the slide. And you can see here that it's simply copy and paste the slide exactly. It's a great way to save time in having to redo things all the time. And this is why PowerPoint is a really powerful program and an easy program to use time and time again for making your resources. Um, there's lots of different clip art and backgrounds. You can see that she's included a lot here. Um, our next workshop is actually going to look at how to make clip art from scratch and we're going to look at doing a classroom banner um, and we're also looking at doing a couple of worksheets. So make sure you drop back into our uh, YouTube channel and you'll be able to see some more free workshops to help teachers designing and using PowerPoint when it comes to resource creating. So thank you so much for your time. Um, I will take you back over to our website just so you can see the different clip arts available because it is a fairly new concept um, that a lot of teachers are not um, aware of. So if you have a look here, um, this is some clip art available online. Um, some is free, but the rest is really reasonably priced. Um, in some of these, you will get up to two or 300 images, um, which is really, really good. Here is a seller's kit. Um, you can use that for, for starting up some resources at home, but you can see there's lots of different, you can have lots and lots of different, sorry, um, borders, um, frames, um, little creatures and clip art, lots of different things for labels and background scenes, um, arrows, you can put all these things in your resources to help with creating themes. So we will be looking at banners in our next workshop. 
So that's just a little glimpse to inside clip art. We hope you've enjoyed um, this workshop. We will be bringing you lots of different workshops. Um, so welcome again and hope to see you soon. Bye.